Right now, Minnesota's closer than ever before to legalizing recreational marijuana. House and Senate lawmakers will meet soon to work out the differences before the pot bill goes back up for a vote. Should it pass again in both chambers, Governor Walls has promised that he will sign it. Minnesota would be the 23rd state to legalize pot. Jennifer Hoff spoke with experts in Oregon where pot has been legal for nearly a decade to get some perspective on the good and the bad. Jennifer. Right, Randy, we're going to focus tonight on Oregon. It's a state I lived and worked in, including when voters approved recreational marijuana. Experts who study how policies affect our health admit that there are some cautionary tales from that state, while also pointing to the millions in tax revenue that that state generates every single year. In fall of 2014, voters approved recreational marijuana in Oregon, expecting to phase it in slowly. Everybody was impatient. They were excited. Instead, uh, University of Oregon economics uh, professor Benjamin Hansen says lawmakers passed an emergency bill converting medical dispensaries to recreational ones by that summer, permitting people over 21 to also grow their own. How do you think the the legalization of that has impacted the people in the state of Oregon. In some ways, it's had pretty minor impacts. Marijuana use has long been high among adults in Oregon, but three years after it was legal, the government agency that oversees the state's health care programs reported the number of teens using it barely changed at all. What did go up was impaired driving incidents and cannabis related poison center calls. They might eat some chocolate and 15 minutes later, they don't feel anything, so they eat a little bit more chocolate. And then finally, it hits them like 15 minutes after that, and then they're just, you know, on the floor. I would expect to see some circumstances like that emerge, especially as uh, first-time users try marijuana for the first time. Meanwhile, the market was also full of too much weed. It's not hard to grow it. Prices plummeted and regulators imposed temporary moratoriums on grow licenses, sparking fears it would fuel the black market, except there's no way to measure that. Oregon has consistently seen the revenues coming from marijuana growing year after year after year. Last year, it raked in $178 million in revenue. It's 17% sales tax, 9% higher than what Minnesota lawmakers are now proposing. I think the state is leaving a ton of money on the table, and they certainly could go for more. So there's also this. Hansen says that Minnesota should be considering potency measurements, packaging and marketing rules, and some clear driving while high laws. These are details that the legislature at least hasn't spelled out publicly yet. However, if this bill is signed into law and we expect it to be soon, possession could already become legal here this summer. Julie. Oh, excellent points. Thanks so much, Jennifer.